Hey guys, my brother and kid here coming to you again. How's everybody doing out there? Hope everybody's well. Um, I'm here again to uh, deliver something for the Marvel 2012 site. Uh, pretty much my last and final ongoing series for this type for the site. Meaning, this is the last one I'm doing, and all the other titles that I'm doing. That's all I'm gonna do now. Um, and if you see the title, yeah. How many of you guys remember this this little team? And since I am the team guy, I'm bringing back Forceworks, uh, a new version of it uh, that was kind of inspired by the Uncanny Avengers, uh, that series that is about to come out soon. I can't wait for that series, though. Um, so, yeah, this team will be comprised of uh, X avengers or affiliated people who affiliate with the avengers and x x-men or x-men affiliated characters uh which will be coming out in october as well uh for me and um so let's get into the lineup shall we um now once again this is going to be uh it's going to be a 10-man team and um i think you'll enjoy the lineup and i'll, I'll give you a little bit more in-depth into uh, why they're here. So kicking off guys uh, with the leader of the group. Yeah, this is the guy who's gonna be leading the team. Uh, War Machine, James Rhodes, Jim Rhodes. Um, Jim is going to lead this group um, pretty much. Now, the concept is gonna become between Steve, Tony, Wolverine, Storm, and Professor Xavier. They're gonna be talking about you know certain things and you know helping the mutant the mute people helping to make people understand that don't judge the few on few on the many of the mutants and kind of help them so that's why we're, I'm doing this to kind of branch the mutants out um, a little bit but yo uh, Tony's gonna elect uh, War Machine as the leader now War Machine Jim does have some good leadership skills and He's, you know, army based as well, so definitely uh, it's going to be, I'm going to use a War Machine. He was going to be used on West Coast Avengers, but nah. Next up, as you see, I had to get this guy here on the team. Uh, my favorite of the original X-Men, Bobby Drake. Now, Iceman's definitely, once Storm and Wolverine say, you know, you want a veteran, mutant on this team then bam here you go uh none better than Iceman seasoned very much and I definitely wanted to get Iceman uh it, I was like you know I, I want an Omega class level mutant on this team and who better than Iceman himself uh I, I thought it was great I was like you know what I, this roster went through a lot of changes but one of them was true three characters were true uh, you saw one of them, and this one right here, uh, Iceman, definitely had to be on this team. And uh, I'm looking forward to uh, Bobby Drake uh, writing Bobby, because I did a little bit in Champions, but let's move on to the next. Uh, as you see here, Justice. Um, yeah, I was looking for somebody who's an ex-Avenger or affiliated with the Avengers. Justice was an Avenger. Um, he was a, he's the former boyfriend of uh, Firestar. Now, as you know, Firestar is on uh, Deadpoolzilla's uh, group, the Astonishing Avengers. And um, I definitely uh, wanted a, a tele, telekinetic. Um, and he, Justice, has very powerful telekinetic abilities. You know, and uh, he's been a former Avenger, former New Warrior. And, you know, he's, he's just trying to change his life around, even though... He has a criminal record. He's pretty much still all around all hero. And this was another character that was already on the team. No matter how many times I changed it up, uh, Sam Gunther, aka Cannonball. Uh, I love Cannonball, and I was like, Bobby and Cannonball work together, so I would want to keep them together and keep that camaraderie together. And um, you know, can this guy when this guy is coming at you in his rocket form, ain't nothing stopping you. Ain't nothing stopping him from knocking you and mowing you over. And you know, Sam's just a good old country boy from Kentucky. And uh, I definitely was looking forward to putting him on the team. 
Next up, another former ex-Avenger, well, is uh, Echo. Now, Echo in the Marvel Universe now, uh, Bendis killed her off in uh, Moon Knight. But remember, in the Marvel 2012 site, uh, none of that is canon. Uh, anything that happened after Skimish and uh, uh, Fear Itself never happened. So, Echo never died. So, um, pretty much she is going to get a uh, message from Cap telling her about the situation and she's going to come. Um, now, the thing about it, she's kind of like Daredevil. The only difference is her handicap, she's deaf, but she's still a great fighter. Next up, M. Monette St. Croix. Uh, you can kind of say the true powerhouse of the team. She's a mutant that pretty much has basically various various abilities from super strength flight she's a telepath which I, I wanted I wanted a telepath on the team she is the perfect perfect embodiment of a human and one thing I also love about her is her tenacity and her pure you know just willpower as best and M's definitely going to be a, a great factor on the team next up as you see right here is Ronin yes I'm bringing Ronin back now the thing is the first Ronin was Echo the second was Clint Barton Hawkeye now Hawkeye is once again on Deadpoolzilla's astonishing Avengers team this is gonna be a new Ronin I'm gonna keep his identity a secret um, but it is a he and he is well established in the Marvel Universe but when when you f find out who it is issue two I think Issue 2 is where I'm going to reveal his identity right in the beginning, but uh, definitely you, you might, if you read my stuff, you'll be like, whoa, I didn't see that coming, kid. But yeah, Ronan's definitely going to be on the team. Next up is Frenzy. Yes, I, I had to get, I was like, you know what, I want Frenzy on the team. I was like, yeah, I like Frenzy. Now, Frenzy was a former acolyte, uh, you know. She changed her ways, you know, she she left with Wolverine after X Men Skimmish and you know, Skimmish and all of them and she's pretty much her mutant abilities is pretty much super strength, um, endurance, speed, um, she's pretty much the female version of mutant female version of Luke Cage. That's pretty much the best way to sum her up. And she's gonna be kinda like the one that's like, you know what, I don't wanna join this team, you know but there's going to be something that's going to kind of change her mind in a, a sense uh, but frenzy people next up um this is kind of an old character old school character but she was a former avenger she now rolls kind of with the southwest uh marvel team known as the rangers and that's none other than firebird um i wanted a character on the team that had pyrokinesis or you know fire powers and I wanted to get a character that is a little bit lesser known and I was like Firebird will do now she's gonna be kind of contemplating should she join the team or stay with the Rangers even though they don't really do much in a sense and last but not least uh, Polaris um, the daughter of Magneto now Polaris I went through a lot of changes and Polaris uh, I was like, you know, I, I'll take Polaris, you know, she's got, pretty much she's got her daddy's powers, and I've always liked Magneto's powers and things like that, and I thought Polaris is cool, um, she joins the team once again, be, you know, because of Storm and Wolverine asking her to, um, but also she's still gonna be, still gonna be canon that she's still in a relationship with Havoc, but all in all, she's still, um, she's gonna join the team because she feels that this could work for the best not just for humans but for mutants as well to keep you know professor xavier's uh dream alive and that's why xavier will be like like in the the round table in a sense of the group but yeah a, a polaris people so um there you have it guys um this is my final title for the marvel 2012 site force works I might call it new force works but just maybe force works um and it's going to be a team comprised of five x five super powered or non-super powered members and five 
uh, mutants. Kind of once again, like I said, I was uh, I was uh, influenced by Uncanny uh, Avengers. And uh, now it doesn't mean I'm done with the site. It means that this is this is it. So if you count down the ti the titles that I'm writing, that's it. So it's Luke Cage and Iron Fist, New New Avengers uh, Task Force, Lady Liberators, um, the Champions. Uh, I, uh, excuse, oh, excuse, <laughs> um, the, uh, the Renegades, which I gotta start soon, uh, Stars, um, Red Spartan and Arachne, which is actually the American Dream and, uh, Spider Girl, uh, series I'm gonna write, they're, they changed their name because they're in the 616 universe, and this one, Force work. So pretty much a total of nine titles that I'm writing and that's good enough for me and so I'm going to put all my creative juices in the back fold now because I am done. Uh, so all my creative juices like if I say oh I, I could do a title now for this. No. It's all my creative juices are going to go just towards Force Works and all the other titles that I'm writing for the Marvel 2012 site so you guys tell me what you think about this and um, stay tuned because it'll come it'll be around it'll uh, be up on the site around October that's when I'll get the first title out and um, you're gonna see how the team gets together and everything like that and uh, we'll take it from there so uh, yeah force works is uh, coming October and uh, this is mom Vernon kid saying peace one love stay tuned keep real as always guys and uh, once again, thank you for all the people who read my stuff and enjoy it and read everybody else on the site stuff and enjoy it. We, we're just trying to please, as always. And uh, I'll take care.